Over the last couple of years, menopause and perimenopause have finally gotten some um, long overdue limelight. Uh, people, businesses, even the media are talking about menopause now um, and the impact that it's having on women and on society. And for the first time, women in their 30s and 40s are actually coming to me now asking, what do I need to know about perimenopause and menopause and what can I do to prepare myself? And as a women's health naturopath, this is like music to my ears. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Siobhan Carroll. I'm a naturopath and a herbalist specialising in women's health. Um, and for me, prevention is always better than cure. Um, I'm so delighted that so many of women are now taking this sort of proactive approach. So I'm discussing um, this topic today in my, my video, if getting your hormones in order in your 30s and 40s um, can give you a kind of gentler time in perimenopause. Um, obviously, it could help in your 20s as well, but I've yet to have someone in their 20s asking me how to prepare for menopause. Um, but there's always a first. <laughs> um, so there is some research now that can suggest that PMS can predict our menopause. Um, I've seen this for years in my clinic, um, but now the research confirms it. Um, I'll link the study um, in um, my written blog. And this research was published in 2004, so it isn't new. Um, but I found that until recently, women just didn't really want to hear it. So if you're watching this now, congratulations. You're part of this emerging group of women who are taking charge of their hormonal health and prepping for easier menopause. So well done. Um, so our 2004 research, um, it was published in the International Peer Review Journal um, Obstetrics and Gynecology Science. And the study followed 436 women for five years, looking at that relationship between PMS and menopause. PMS symptoms declined significantly as the menstrual bleeding became less frequent and um, the likelihood of PMS decreasing um, by 26% um, in early menopause and 80% in later menopause. So women with PMS at the start of the course were um, the study were twice as likely to have um, more severe menopause symptoms and women with PMS were also 50% more likely to have pr um, problems with sexual desire and 72% uh, with problem sleeping. So that's a lot. <laughs> the study's overall conclusion was basically women who got PMS in their childbearing years were at greater risk of menopausal hot flushes, poor mood, poor sleep, decreased libido and, and other menopausal symptoms. So I say this a lot, your period is like a superpower, but in this case, it's also like a fortune telling superpower. Um, but while, you know, it's kind of giving you an idea if you might have a problematic um, menopause, it's not going to tell you, you know, your, your symptoms in PMS aren't going to be the same in menopause. Um, so, you know, it's a great feedback tool, your period, but it's not that good of a fortune teller. Um, basically, what it's trying to say is if your hormones are out of balance, um, that's a likely contributor to PMS. Um, and if your hormones are out of balance, you're more likely to get symptoms of perimenopause as well. So um, it's a, the same underlying cause. Um, if you're prone to those very typical sort of PMS symptoms like sore breasts, mood swings, anger, irritability and um, fluid retention, it's often what we call estrogen dominance, also incorporates kind of heavy periods, painful periods, and um, more accurately kind of estrogen high in relation to low levels of progesterone. Um, so if you have high estrogen, when your estrogen levels drop off before your period, that fluctuation is a little bit higher and, and that's often what um, contributes to these PMS symptoms. Um, so unfortunately, if you're um, experiencing these symptoms now, you're more likely at risk of more severe symptoms in menopause and particularly perimenopause when estrogen goes on sort of a roller coaster and all of these symptoms then become heightened. So while this might be scary, it's also really empowering. So if you experience PMS now, um, it's a good time to get your hormones back on track. Um, I have a recent video, Five Ways to Manage PMS Naturally. Um, we've also an amazing herbal remedy called Agnes Castus, um, one of my just go-to herbs for treating PMS, that particularly when it's associated with these higher levels of each estrogen. Um, it's um, helpful for relieving all these symptoms of PMS, painful um, breasts, bloating, irritability, painful periods, heavy bleeding. Um, also really helpful for that kind of heavy bleeding that shows up during that estrogen roller coaster in perimenopause. Um, so yeah, if you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, whatever age you are and you're experiencing PMS, Agnes Castus is a great remedy to try. Um, but also if you're already in that early stages of perimenopause where you're having those um, mood fluctuations, heavier bleeds and um, kind of estrogen roller coaster, then Agnes Castus can help too. So definitely worth a try. And then just lastly, I suppose um, a little cautionary word on hormonal medications. Um, while discussing this topic, I think it's really important to say that at the moment, the kind of most common treatment uh, medically for PMS is hormonal contraceptives. Um, and while they're a great 
remedy to have available. Um, I think prescribing them for hormonal imbalance is actually just very la lazy medicine. It's like putting a plaster over your car, um, petrol light, and just e expecting that it's going to keep running. Um, so while many women are put on the pill just to um, ease their PMS, they find that if they come off it or when they come off it, that their, um, their symptoms of PMS often come back. Um, very similar to HRT. Women are put on it now a lot. Um, or decide to go on it but when they eventually come off it and um, those uh, estrogen levels the synthetic estrogen drops significantly um, uh, back to base levels and you get all those symptoms of menopause coming up even after the HRT so a great idea <laughs> what I suggest is getting your hormones on track naturally and um, to set you up for this smoother transition into menopause which um, I know sounds good to me and um, so yes um, follow along uh, like and share and subscribe and all those things and if you have any comments please let me know.